Hey guys, I hope you're well. For today's video, I will be talking about how important it is to be patient with your art and really put the time and effort in so you can get the best result you can achieve. At the same time, there will be the time lapse of the first 10 hours of my latest commissioned piece for you to enjoy. This video is used to strengthen the points I make in this video, as it is actually proof of what I'm describing. For this video, I got inspired from one of our followers on Instagram. By the way, there is a link for our social media in the description below. So she contacted us to get feedback on her work and some advice on how she could improve it. She's a really talented person that is on the early ages of development. Through our discussion, I got the feeling that she was in a hurry to see results fast. She wanted to get at the end of a piece fast and at the same time improve and learn new techniques. I remember when I was that impatient. I got frustrated when I did not get the results that I wanted to get and that feeling many times is leading you to quit. However, this is the wrong way to look at it. There's nothing in life that is easy from the start. Anytime we learn something new, we suck at it. It takes time and effort and a lot of mistakes to grow your skills. So instead of being sad and depressed from your shortcomings and failures, you should be happy. My point is that patience is key. And this does not apply just to drawing. It applies to your development as an artist as well. And basically in every aspect in our lives. Even when your target is to be fast on something, you become fast gradually. You build up your skill by optimizing what is that you are doing. Many times we see great works from amazing artists and we admire them and get intimidated but we do not stop and wonder how did that person get to this point i assure you that when you see a realistic drawing the artist spent countless hours to complete it even at times that he was not in the mood to draw many times pressured by life stuff you know like working a full-time job maintaining a house having a child etc you do not see all that. You just see a masterpiece. So, do not use that as an excuse. It is not easy to be an artist, and even more difficult when you want to make a living out of it. If that is your goal, prepare yourself, because not only you have to be patient for your development as an artist, but you'll have to be persistent and patient for your professional status as well you probably will need to work a full-time job to support yourself and possibly your family and use any free time you have to build up your skills. That will slow you down even more, not only because you'll have limited time for your art, but because even at these times, it will take tremendous amounts of discipline to use this time productively. This is one of the most difficult aspects of it that I struggled. I was refusing to work on my art if I had just one hour to spend. My art usually takes about 30 to 40 hours depending on the size and subject matter. So as you can imagine, one hour can barely make any difference. So in my mind, I was saying, I'm not going to progress like that. And I did no work. However, I soon realized that one hour a day is seven hours a week, so in a month I could have a masterpiece that otherwise I wouldn't. One art piece a month is just fine. In a year, this is 12 art pieces. You could have your own gallery show. What I'm trying to say is, do not think that there is ever going to be the perfect situation. If your mindset is wrong, you will always look at the problems and end up being stationary. You'll need to look at the positives and go ahead. 
Set your goals and slowly work towards them. Start now, not tomorrow. Because if you don't, you will finish zero art by the end of the month instead of just one. Or zero art by the end of the year instead of 12 art pieces that could get you the attention you need to get noticed and possibly get the opportunity to make a living out of it and make the whole procedure a little easier. So you can see how the short and long-term goals are related. They share the same strategy. Patience. Obviously, you need to be critical and observative and learning new skills and a bunch more things in order to evolve. But without patience, you won't be doing any of that in the first place. Now, coming back to the discussion on how to improve fast, I want to share something that you can use as a guide to understand how quality in arts works. You can only get pairs of these. For example, when you think about your development, if you want high quality education and want it fast, you go to an art school that costs a buttload of money. If we talk about your art, if you want to sell expensive, which means the quality needs to be high, then you need to spend the time. And if you don't have the time, then it becomes a low priority. Or if your client needs it faster, then the price goes up. This is the basis of how it works. You need to spend time to get quality. The more you practice, the better you become. The challenge is to be patient and disciplined. It takes time to make your art your profession. It takes time to create a great piece of art. It takes time even to finish a small part of your art. This is why I used this time lapse today to show you how long it took, approximately 10 hours to get to this point for this portrait. I got just the woman's hair and even that is not finished. However, I am not discouraged. I am fully aware that it takes time. I am expecting it. So I only feel grateful for the progress I made and cannot wait to see it completed. Let me know if you experience the same issues yourself and what you did to overcome it. Stay tuned for the next video that comes on Sunday. See you then. Peace.